morning guys I got a heap of tackle sent to me by Lancaster Tackle thank you Edward he gave it to me to trial out so I've already tried them out they're pretty good I use them outside get a few snapper to rally yellowtail I've had a couple of snap offs on them too so these ones I used to use as a kid but it looks like the designs changed a fair bit these days um, I'm gonna give them a crack. Big paddle tails. I got one on there. Haven't used them for a while, but I used to do all right when I was a kid on them. And we've got these cranker crab things. Crab imitations of some type. Haven't tried them before, so I've heard good things about them. I wouldn't mind giving them a go. And we've got this big crab here. He's a, I don't know, maybe a big groper or big flatties or something. And these vibes I'm curious of, I'm going to give them a crack. And some hooks I'm just going to use with live mullet. Because I've already caught the live mullet. And geez, these little hooks. These are top notch, eh? Very fine hook. Great for mullet, garfish, etc. Not so good on brim and that because it's so fine. Um, but yeah, great on potty mullet. Done well, done well yesterday. Yeah, got 20 nice potty mullet in there, so very happy about that. Anyway, we'll give it a crack. I'm going to go with the vibe. I've got a blue and yellow colour one on there, and we're just going to give those hooks a crack. They should be perfect size for those mullet. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Beautiful morning. I'm out here perfect time, right on sunrise, so I've done well this morning. Alright, I try to try and give this vibe a go. Geez, it looks good. It feels good. Lots of vibration. Let's see how it goes. Well, the vibe's caught its first victim, a squid. Wasn't expecting that, but anyway, I'll take it. Get him on the ice. Jeez, another beautiful squid on the vibe. It's killing it. Second squid, no fish yet on it though. It's, it's working well, I can feel the vibrations. So I'm waiting for that big hit. Anyway, I think I'm gonna put him on live. Cause you know, nothing beats that live squid as bait. Let's get him out there. Alright, big bait, big fish. General rule. Got my first fish on the vibe here, guys. Apart from the two squid. What do we got? Little snapper. That's what I was expecting to get. Some snapper and broom on the smaller profile vibe. Anyway, it's good to see it's working. It's always good to get the first fish off your new lure gives you an idea it's working anyway beautiful fish look at the spots on him just gorgeous they are yeah so yeah maybe it the difference was there i just put a bit of smell on it actually so maybe that's what it needed um let's try it again we'll put a bit more smell on it Oh, another one on the vibe here guys lovely flathead around that 40 centimeter mark whoop there he goes anyway it's good to see starting to pick up some fish on the vibe now as soon as i started putting a bit of scent on it i would started getting a bit of action so i think that's what i was lacking in the beginning that's two fish in about three minutes, so, and that's just with a bit of smell on it. So it definitely, definitely made the difference. I was fishing with it for about 45 minutes, and we got those two squid, no fish. I put the scent on it, and yeah, within three minutes we got those two fish. So I think it definitely made a difference. 
Got one here guys, on the live squid. Nice flathead. Beautiful girl. Ooh. It's getting up there. Getting up to that 55 size again. Just over 50. Just have a quick little look. I'm gonna let him go today. I'm gonna keep a few squid, but fish I'm gonna let go today. Easy inhaled that bait. Totally inhaled it. Oh he spiked me. Calm down mate. Hook out. Yep. Yep. Got it. Good reach in there. Just have a quick look on the brag, mate. Yeah. 52 centimetres. Beautiful fish. Nice, healthy, clean one. Here we go, guys. Beautiful flathead. I'm going to let it go. There she goes. Oh, missed him, guys. That was a ripper of a fish. Just came back to the main channel here, guys. Drop these little snacks down. See how we go. Yeah, it's getting a little bit busy out at the drop over there. There's quite a few boats out there. So. See if we can pick up a flathead. I'm going to give this curl tail here. I'm going to give this a go too. In shallower water. Let's see how that goes. Let's get this mullet out. They're only small mullet. I would like them bigger, but they are what they are. I might go catch some bigger ones a bit later on. We'll see how we go. Come on here, guys, on that little live mullet. Jeez, I don't have many left. I've only got a couple left now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful sandy coloured flathead. Jeez, he's a nice looking flathead. Oh, I might try and lift him. I don't know how I'm going to go here. I got a reasonable trace on today because I've been getting snapped off quite a bit. So I put a 30 pound trace on today. And of course I haven't ran into that that big fish today. Of course. That's a beautiful flathead. Jeez, he's getting up to 60 centimeters, that guy. Nice fat, healthy fish. Yeah, let's have a look at him. Nice, fat, healthy fish, that one. And that, look at the sandy colour on him. And that hook's just perfectly in the lip. A beautiful little brim hook. They're perfect for those for the live mullet, they are. And I think he's about 60 centimetres, this guy. He looks, he looks quite fat, healthy. He's 56 centimetres. Beautiful, beautiful flathead. Anyway, we're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. He's such a beautiful looking fish. If you'll let me pick him up and let him go, it's like he wants to stay here. Okay, let's get him back in. Here he 
Got another one here, guys. From the tiny little live mullet. Oh, God. Tiny little flathead. A tiny mullet for a tiny flathead. It's usually the way it works. Come on, mate. There you go. Whoop. You know, watch out for these little guys. They're the spikiest out of the lot. There he goes. Just run out of mullet, guys. So I've come in here trying to get some mullet. I've burlied some up, burlied some bread up. No mullet as yet. But there's brim. <laughs> it's always the way, one or the other. Brimbo. I've got some mullet around here but it's been a bit sketchy. Big sucker. So what do I think, guys? Well, the mullet hooks, I thought they were great. Nice and sharp, real fine. Good for mullet, garfish, etc. Yeah, great little hook. Micro jigs. I've used them outside on three fishing trips, I think. I've caught, I think, five snapper on them. Um... Couple of trevally, yellowtail, and I've been snapped off too. That, that's just all sitting in the rod holder. I'm not working on it at all, so yeah, not bad little jig, micro jig that. Little vibes, they got a lot of vibration, guys. Once I put that scent on it, I seem just to catch a few fish. I was getting, yeah, squid on it. I got flathead on it, I got snapper on it. So yeah, not bad little lure. Comes in a few different colors. But yeah, I'd end up doing all right on that. Paddle tails, I use them in the channel. But yeah, I couldn't get into the feel of them. Um, I sort of stopped using them 20 years ago, I suppose. And yeah, I wasn't really into them, so it wasn't really my thing. Um, they seem to have all right movement. Um, but yeah, I like the vibrations more in my lures these days. Hooks. Well, this is my standard hook I use generally for decent live mullet, you know, like reasonable 10 centimeter mullet. This hook, these hooks here, they come in a box of 100. That's what he's Lancaster Tackle website. They come in a box of 100 and they're, they're better for the smaller mullet. They're not bad size actually. So yeah, if you get the smaller mullet, Perfect for them, lets the mullet swim freely and it's not a big stand out the hook on the mullet. So yeah, good size for that. And then you got the smaller ones, little brim hooks do, but yeah, they come in boxes of 100, so you get a fair bit of value for them. And then the crabs, I didn't get to try them, but I will. I reckon they're around the break walls or something like that. I reckon they might go all right. It's just a matter of giving them a go, I guess. I haven't, haven't had a chance to. Um, but yeah, I was wanted to talk about hooks because I really struggled the last couple of trips. And I bought these hooks. It all comes down to that. I experimented. I bought these Primal 8 hooks, which is about the size I wanted. But geez, I must have dropped about 10 quality fish in two days. I, could, I got them for the squid and the big mullet. And of course they got smashed as normal. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd hook them and the hook would set and I'd have weight on and then the hook would just come out and that happened like 10 times. So I'm kicking myself for persisting with them. So I shouldn't have went the second trip with them. So they will be going in the bin this time. Yeah, they're BCF jobs and I won't be getting them again. Anyway, you learn from these things and 
I should have learnt the first time and I shouldn't have tried them the second time because, geez, some of those fish, they felt like quality fish too. And yeah, in my head, they were the one metre flatheads, but yeah, I'll never know now. Anyway, it's made me a lot keener for next time. Yeah, yeah we'll get back out there and we'll nail them. That's it, guys, another adventure done. Geez, I chewed through those live mullet, 20 of them down the drain. Caught about six flathead in the end, I suppose. We got about 10 squid. Geez, I dropped some big flathead again on the big live baits, on the live squid, on the live mullet. Couldn't seem to hold on to the big guys, which just seems to keep me keener for next time. Last time I dropped a lot, couldn't wait to get back out here. Today I dropped a lot, it's keeping me keen. I just want to get that big one now. Anyway guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you guys on the water. Catches.